everyone! So we have finally come to the chapter of Kasparov. We have just talked about his most memorable game against Karbov. You know, before this game, instead of tense preparation, Kasparov chose to relax and play cards to make himself less nervous. And he chose opening of playing the first move C4, which could probably avoid all preparations of Karbov and make Karbov shocked. The opening was successful and Kasparov gradually gained advantage. So it came to this position. In this position, Kasparov felt that he was better and he had a chance to win, but he missed the best and simple move. Probably because he was too nervous, and probably because at that moment, an arbiter tapped on his shoulder and said something like, Mr. Kasparov, you have to record your moves, which startled Kasparov a lot. So here the best move for white is to play queen b5, threatening queen e8 check and double attack. So here you should notice that black is not able to move the queen to e7 because this knight is hanging. And if black try to defend this e8 square, so for example knight d6, we can simply play queen c6, attacking this knight and continue to threat this queen e8. So black is not able to defend here. If black tries to use this king to defend, so for example, king f8, white has this knight c6. And the queen can only move to a8, and then queen d3. Threatening queen d8, and here black is not able to defend it. So black is losing here. But Kasparov failed to make this move. But instead, he played queen d1. You know the purpose is similar. You know, in order to play queen d8 and attack this knight. But this gave Karbov a good chance to defend. But also, Karbov failed to see this move. Probably because he was too nervous and probably because he was in serious time trouble. So the best move here is to play knight c5. You know, this move is hard to see because now white is threatening queen d8 and directly win a knight. But after queen d8, king 7 queen takes, black has this queen a1, also a double attack, and easily regain this knight. So in this position, if white plays king g2 first, trying to prevent this queen a1. Black can play f6. Queen takes, f takes. White does not gain anything. But in the real game, Karbo played knight e7, which gave Kasparov a chance to win again. So Kasparov played queen d8, king f7, and knight takes. Threatening bishop e4 and queen h8. So black can only play knight g6. Also at the same time, attacking this knight. So Kasparov played a good move here, that is queen e8. Protecting this knight and then in the same time, attacking this knight. The next move, still, white is threatening bishop e4 and queen h8. So black played queen e7, and takes, takes, bishop e4, planning to play h4 and h5. King g8, queen b5. Here you should notice that still black is able to move this queen because this knight is hanging, so black is going to lose this pawn. Knight f8, queen takes, queen f6, queen b5. Here is 40 moves and the game was adjourned. After thorough analysis, Kasparov felt that he had 50% of chance to win this game. But Karbov was proved more vulnerable than Kasparov thought. 
So the game started in the next day. E7. King G2. G6. And this move is a big mistake because, you know, in theory, here black should not put the pawn in the same color as the bishop because it will only create more weaknesses. But instead, black should play g5, putting the pawn in opposite color from the bishop so that it will not be easy for white to attack. And you can notice that the knight is defending this square and this g6 square. So it will be very difficult for Y to attack and utilize these two weak squares. But this G6 makes black harder to defend and gives white more chances to attack. So in the real game, Queen A5, Queen G7, Queen C5, Queen F7, H4. This is a good move because it threats H5 so black lays h5. Now, three weaknesses. All the pawns are in the same color as the bishop, and you know, it makes white's attack much easier. So what's the plan for right here? An easy one is to push a pawn to e5, and make this e6 pawn a permanent weakness. And then, use the bishop and the queen to attack all these weaknesses. So after several moves of struggle, Black resigned. The final part of this game was also excellently played. And if you are interested, you can click the link below the video to check it. As we have seen, both sides had made mistakes and both had plenty of chances. And it was these mistakes which made the game more exciting and dramatic. If you like the video, you are welcome to share it and follow our channel. See you next time.